I'm Brian Westbrook at AWS reInvent with GeekWire Studios, and we're chatting now with Seagate's Director of Advanced Technology. I have Iman Anvari. First of all, welcome. How has your reInvent been? Thanks, Brian. It's been amazing. So much new technology here. I'm blown away. It is fun. It's amazing. It's a little overwhelming at times. Lots of stimulus. But let's get right into it. Seagate Live Services. How does it benefit those AWS users that are here in, the, in Las Vegas? Absolutely, yeah. With Seagate Live Services, we focus on helping AWS customers to move their data from the edge and the point of creation to cloud in a simple, secure, and efficient way. Really what we're seeing in the market is that uh, data is exploding, it's growing more than ever with Gen AI, all the new use cases. And in order to really make those data actionable, you need to get it into your own cloud environment. So we focus on making that experience seamless so that the users can get their data in the cloud in a very fast, you know, like, um, easy way and then be able to really run processing, create AI models and you know, go through their whole ETL pipeline. And of course, more AWS users than just those that are here in Las Vegas. Let's talk use cases for a second. Give me some examples of use cases for those that are made easier by live data transfer. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we go through a lot of industries and different use cases and we always learn something new from them. But just to kind of like go through a couple of interesting ones, uh, the first one is the autonomous vehicle and advanced assisted driving technology. I mean, it's, it's just fascinating. All the car companies are really chasing down these new features that helps you really save lives and reduce accidents on the road. And we've been working with automotive OEMs and tier one suppliers and helping them create these complex data collection campaigns that moves petabytes of data from the car to the cloud and allows these companies to build really neat features that's going to transform the roads in the next few years. So I'm very excited about that use case. And the other one that we've been very much focused on is in the media entertainment space where we see, you know, like shoots happen all around the world, right? You have TV series and movies that this data needs to be coalesced and go through post-production. So we've been helping them building these post-production pipelines that goes across continents and really helping them do that in a very secure manner because, you know, at the end of the day, that's their assets, right? And so and they care about it. So that's just a couple of the use cases, but there are so many more that we go to and help with AWS customers. Fantastic, and of course the media example is one that we can all relate to. There are shoots happening all around the world and you want to keep that data secure, you want to keep it transferred easily and effectively. Let's talk about other integrations, AWS integrations with Live. What do we have to look forward to? Oh, I'm glad you asked that question. So we actually announced our Exos X integration with AWS Outpost, and I've been waiting for this moment for a long time, so it's been in the works for a year, more than a year actually, but and now when we uh, have customers who want to deploy hybrid cloud and they're using AWS Outpost services, we've noticed that a lot of those customers have workloads that have high gravity of data. So they need that data to be close to an Outpost node and be processed, pre-processed. With our Exos X systems, we can provide more than a petabyte of storage to any Outpost node or Outpost rack in a matter of 15 minutes. So I'm super excited about that announcement, that integration, and I think it's going to enable a lot of users to have their own personal data lake at the edge in the data center without a lot of friction. A lot more data than my first 100 meg Seagate hard drive that I had in one of my first computers. <laughs> so absolutely fantastic. Let's talk about what's next. What is on the horizon? What ideas, thoughts, mindsets, worlds are you thinking about for the future? Yeah, I think, you know, like everybody's talking AI nowadays, right? So that's an area that we're focusing on from a storage perspective uh, and figuring out how do we bring AI closer to the user, closer to the edge, so me and you can utilize AI in like in everyday use cases. So that's really what we're working on and trying to figure out how do we position Seagate to be kind of like one of the main providers in that space. That's fantastic. Iwan Anvari, I look forward to chatting with you next year about some of the advances in the storage space, especially as it comes to the edge. Thank you for taking the time to share us Thanks, with Brian. Seagate Live Services. I'm Brian Westbrook, you're watching GeekWire Studios.